the last step of, Ru of the Rubik's Cube, where we get these corners to be solved. So as you can see, we have this place where we have this top cross solved, and all these edges line up at their corresponding centers. But now we need to get these corners solved. So to do this, we have to look at what corner can be twisted to get into its spot. So this corner, if you twist it, you can see that it matches up with all of its corresponding centers. But if this, if this corner is twisted, sure, it matches up with this center, but it does not match up with the other centers. So the way to look at this is take the three colors that match a corner, so here we have blue, orange, and yellow, and we look at the corresponding centers around that corner. So we have blue, orange, and yellow. So this corner is good. Now let's look at this corner. We have red, yellow, and green, and we have corners that are orange, green, and yellow. So this is not a good corner. You'll either have one or zero good corners. You won't have any more. So if you find one good corner, you know that that's the, most, that's the biggest number of good corners that you'll ever have. Once you've found a good corner, like this one, we're going to hold it like this, where the corner is on the top, front, and right face, like this. Like, here's the good corner, we're going to hold it like this and do this algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And now, we're going to check again if these are good corners or not. So let's see, this is a good corner, but this one is not because it's yellow, blue, and red, and these centers do not match it. So what we're going to do is do that same thing as we did last time, hold the good corner like this and go U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. Now if you check these corners, they're all good corners. But you also might have something like this. You check your corners and none of them are good. So now what you're going to do is just make sure you hold this yellow cross on top and do that exact same algorithm, this algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. Now just check around, and you should have a good corner like this. So we can do U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And we can check some of these are still not good. So we'll hold our good corner again right here, and go U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And now as you can see, all of our corners are good. All right, now as you can see, all of our corners are good. So now it's the last step, which is just to twist all of those corners in place. Now before you go twisting all the corners on the cube, that's not how you do it. This is not an actual move on a cube. So we're going to just use the regular moves on a cube to get these corners in their places. So what you're going to do is just like pretend that there's only one good corner. So let's just pretend that this one is the only good corner in the entire cube, even that all these are good. So we're just going to hold this in that same position that we did, but we're actually going to do a different algorithm. Instead of doing that long one that we did, we're going to do this short four move algorithm. R prime, D prime, R, D. And as you can see, that spot in top that that corner was is now blue. We're going to keep doing this algorithm until it's yellow. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now as you can see, this spot is yellow. So now what we're going to do is just do U. As we can see, we have another yellow corner here. And then do R prime, D prime, R, D until this spot is yellow. R prime, D prime, R, D, white. R prime, D prime, R, D, blue. R prime, D prime, R, D, orange. R prime, D prime, R, D, it is yellow. Now we're going to do is so we're going to do U again. We have another spot here. We're going to do R prime, D prime, R, D, it's blue. R prime, D prime, R, D, it's yellow. Now one more time we're going to do U. We have a twisted corner here, so we're going to do R prime, D prime, R, D, white, R prime, D prime, R, D, green, R prime, D prime, R, D, orange, R prime, D prime, R, D, yellow. So now you have, one, you have the cube one turn away from being solved, so you can just keep turning this layer until the cube solves itself. So there we go. That is a Rubik's Cube solved. Congratulations, you've solved your first Rubik's Cube. So just to walk you through the steps again, we first made a flower shape on the top. Then we turned that flower shape into a cross on the bottom. 
Then we got the white side and the first layer. Then we got the second layer. Then we got a yellow cross on top. Then we got all the yellow cross edges to line up with their corresponding centers. Then we made sure that every single corner on the yellow side could be twisted to put it in its correct position. Then we twisted each corner to get its correct position. And finally, we did the final turn to finish off the cube. More great tutorials and videos coming soon, and I'll see you next time.